What's going on, Hit Squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back. Once again, with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Online, this is for the family heirlooms, all Azuri, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Wednesday, September 8th, and as I say each and every video, Smash that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out. Make sure you turn on all post notifications because I post videos each and every day. To today, or I already said what today was. <laughs> get mixed up. Anywho, um, if you guys want to know Madam Nazar's location, which is the first thing we're going to get to, uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at instagram and or twitter at hitman miyagi yt everything will be posted on twitter uh instagram uh i will post madame nazar's location and facebook i usually post uh the link to any video that i make i try to post it there and um madame nazar's location but i cannot post for until probably next monday uh so the first thing I want to get to is Madame Nazar's location, which I tell you guys that so you know where to go. Uh, then I do the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle because that is part of the moonshine situation for one of the, the ingredients for the highest paying moonshine recipe. Then I tell you guys the cycles. I'm just going over all the stuff that I do because i do have a couple new subscribers and i want you guys to know exactly why i do things um the next thing is i tell you guys the cycles and i tell you guys the cycles so you guys can look up the videos because i personally don't have time to make 60 videos on each cycle and where everything is so it's already there use youtube i tell you guys the cycles so you guys know that this is the cycle for today and you can look up coin cycle, whatever it is, and then one through six or, you know, just say like coin cycle. Uh, what's today? Coins are cycle two today. So it's coin cycle two. Look up that video on YouTube and then they will tell you each location that cycles that the coins are on the map super simple um then i give you guys a quick little you know uh rundown of things that are on the lemoyne area the map so you can go get you started on your little journey collecting which i need to be collecting these on my own but i really haven't even been playing the game <laughs> like that to be honest but first things first let's get to madame nazar's location which today madame nazar is down here in Rio Bravo at the little Snoopy face. See, there, there go the eye, there go the cheek, and there go the ear. It looks like a Snoopy face to me. Anywho, but <laughs> she's right here at this location, and she will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know, or not of America. Uh, you just add or minus or subtract the hour or two, depending on your location. Uh, how I personally get to her when she's in this location is I will not fast travel to Tumbleweed or Armadillo unless you just like traveling Then by far go. I mean go to t Tumbleweed and run down. I mean be my guest, uh, but How I personally get to her when she's in this location is I simply pace my camp in Rio Bravo and I run for my camp because Anywhere around Rio Bravo, if you can get your camp anywhere around Rio Bravo and run to her location, it'll be closer than running from Tumbleweed or Armadillo. So place your camp in, in Rio Bravo and just run to her location, which is right under the ear of the little Snoopy looking area. Next thing I want to get to is the Caribbean Rum Antique Alcohol Bottle, which is all the way up here in Coulter right here i kind of placed that like blindly but that is perfect um right here 
at this location you guys will get the caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle it's inside this shack or shed or house is <laughs> right in the cabin or or is right inside in the cabinet next to the door so that's that the next thing there's also a tarot card over here in this area which is like right here i think it's like on a windowsill it's like on the win windowsill of this uh broken down caved in chapel that is a ten of swords if you guys do want to get a bird egg while you're up here in this area right about here there's a hawk egg is in a tree shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow and right about here there's a fossil come over here with your metal detector at this location with your metal detector and that's what you will dig up a random fossil there's also a fossil like right about here if you guys want to get that as well but i'm gonna stop playing around personally up in culture let's get down here to the cycles which is mainly what you guys came here for let me zoom in so you guys can see all the extras and stuff like that the cycles for today wednesday september 9th or september 8th i'm sorry are family heirloom cycle six all laws jury cycle two coin cycle two arrowhead cycle one wildflower cycle one antique alcohol bottle cycle one all tarot card cycle five bird egg cycle one and fossils cycle six remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there for you guys the cycles a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils so i could that's the only video that i really did all of because i was actively you know youtube and at that moment so <laughs> The fossils, I, I got a video so I can show you guys all the, the spots for the fi fossils and stuff like that. And how and how to spell the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Cash App for the channel. Let's get to these things that we will find across the Lemoyne area of the map real quick. I'll tell you how to get to them and where they are, kind of. But let's start up here at the first one, right here next, between the A and T of blue water come right here at this location and you guys will get a random fossil come right here with your with your metal detector and that's what you will dig up remember you have to be above level 15 i, I think in collectors before the fossils will pop up in your situation so if you are not of level 15 or more you cannot get the fossils yet until you reach that point let's go down a little bit to our next marker which is by the h in marsh right here first inside the house there's a tarot card this tarot card is inside the house on the dinner table this card is also a nine of wands so don't forget that after you get that go underneath the house with your metal detector and you guys will get a random I don't know why I drink water before I start talking because it, it like drowns me <laughs> but uh, go underneath the house with a metal metal detector and you guys will get a random coin I cannot tell you guys what coin it is because it is randomized there's a bird egg over here if you guys want to get it that bird egg is a spoonbill egg. It's in the tree. Shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. Let's go over here to the left a little bit inside this house. In the chimney. Go inside the house. Go to the chimney. It should give you a prompt to search. Click search and you will pull out a Durant pearl bracelet, which is a lost jury. There's also another lost jury, but this one is random. Come in the backyard by the large tree that's in the the backyard pull out your metal detector and you will hit on a random lost jury right about here at that location above the o in the backyard there's also a card on this deck if you guys want to go over there and grab that while you're playing around that is a page of pinnacles if you want to grab it there's also a card right here i cannot remember what it is but right there on a barrel or a crate there's a card right there 
right here at our next marker, there's actually two things in this area right here where this marker is. There's a bird egg. This bird egg is a heron egg, H-E-R-O-N. It's in a tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. Inside the house, go straight through the door and to your right where there's a table with a lot of candles on it, you guys will see a scotch whiskey antique alcohol bottle. You do not have to go far into the door. As soon as you walk into the door, one step, look to your right, and there's the antique alcohol bottle. Once again, that is a scotch whiskey bottle. Let's go over here to this mansion, right here where our next marker is. But before you go into the mansion, there's a tarot card inside this little gazebo area on the place where you sit down at, right about there. That tarot card is a six of wands, if you guys want to grab it. This marker is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairbrush. This ebony hairbrush is on a bench near the back porch. So there's a bench where the marker is here, and there's a bench where this, this waypoint is right here. And there's a staircase here, and there's a staircase here. <laughs> Just so you guys know where you're looking at and where, where to go. So go and grab that. Let's go over here to the right. Right here at this location in front of this chapel or church, you guys will get a Ten of Pentacles tarot card. This Ten of Pentacles tarot card is on a bench as well, right here at this location. So just grab it off. There's usually a person sitting there. But since I used to, I used to say that a lot, but... I haven't seen the guy that like since he appeared, he appeared two times. And then when you walk over, he'll, he'll go away. He'll walk away talking mess, but above the word Denise or Denis right here inside this little compact complex on the second floor, you guys will get a antique alcohol bottle. How you get this bottle is you come down the alley here. There's a ladder here. Go up the ladder onto the second level, and right about here, you jump across the railing. When you jump across the railing, go across that path to the next railing, which is here. Jump across that railing and follow the path down and around to the antique alcohol bottle, which sits right here once again. This antique alcohol bottle, if I did not say it, it's a Irish whiskey bottle. Uh, from there, you just jump off and go about your way. <laughs> Let's go to this next marker, which is by this takeover series right here in the landfill area of the map or or of San, San Denis. I try to pronounce it how they pronounce it in story mode. <laughs> but how I pronounce it when I first got the game was Saint Denis. But right here at this location, you guys will get a family heirloom, which there's a couple other family heirlooms that I forgot to tell you guys about. But we're on this one, so I'm going to tell you this one. This one is a carved wooden hairpin. You have to dig for it, so when you do come over here in this area, make sure you guys pull out your metal detector. Right here at this location, I try to mark it kind of accurate to where it is, so it's, it's probably like right there. I try to line it up. It's not like directly lined up with that. It's kind of over a little bit but come right here with your metal detector and that's what you will dig up a carved wooden hairpin a couple other things that i forgot to mention is right next to gus or right across the way right here there's a treasure chest inside that treasure chest you guys will get a boxwood comb which is a family heirloom as well and right around the corner from the gunsmith or gun store right down this alley here I think it's the, one of these are the theater, but right here at this location, you guys will get a tortoise shell comb. Come down this alley and on the ground floor, you should see a, a bench over to your left and over on this side of the building. You do not go up the ladder, but it's behind the ladder. On the ground floor, on a bench, you guys will see a tortoise shell comb. There's also a tarot card on this bench here or on this dock on this dock there's a bench and on that bench there's a tarot card <laughs> which is a eight of pentacles 
let's go over to our next marker which is the cardinal flower that spawns over here each and every day that helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on and today is cycle one uh over in the braithwaite braithwaite manor home there's a terry uh, saying this is a terry card it's not a terry card it's a antique alcohol bottle this antique alcohol bottle is a London dry gin bottle. This London dry gin bottle is on the ground floor on the dinner table, which is about here. So when you do walk in, that's where it is. Uh, let's go up to roads where I have a couple things. One, I have marked, this is actual roads here. And then I have two or three things outside of roads. There's one marker here, which is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is in a treasure chest right at the corner of the Rhodes train station, which is over to the left. This uh, marker is of a rosewood hairbrush. As I said, it's in the treasure chest right at the corner of the rail railroad right on the platform. There are also two tarot cards, which one is inside this barn on the work table that is a two of pentacles. And on the hanging platform right here at this location, you guys will get a Three of Swords tarot card. Let's get up here to the last couple markers that I do have. One that I did not mark, which is right behind the house. You don't have to go inside the house. There's nothing inside the house today. Right here at this location behind this house, there's a wagon. On that wagon, you guys will get a, a Six of Pentacles tarot card. If you do pull out your metal detector around this area, you will, well, let's see, right about here. I think, I feel like it's right around this little area here. Pull out your metal detector and you will hit on a random item. I cannot tell you what category it's in or what item you would dig up, but if you do pull out your metal detector here, you will get a random item. Anything that you have to dig for as far as I know like a uh, lost jewelry, arrowhead, coin, fossil, anything. It could be e either one. But at this marker here, right next to the Matic Pond, right here, come right here at this location. You do not need your metal detector. You just need your shovel because there's a dig spot. Right here, you guys will get a random arrowhead. I cannot tell you what it is because it is random. <clears throat> right here at our next marker you guys will get a random coin this random coin is underneath the railroad that's why I kind of marked it off to the right a little bit but come right here to this location in the dirt and you guys will get a random coin I cannot tell you what it is because it is randomized I'm gonna tell you guys a couple more things <laughs> Since the video is already super long, I feel like right about here, there's a a well. Climb down that well and pull out your metal detector and you will hit on another coin. And right about, I guess, here, there's a couple grave sites or whatever. There's a tree and with two grave sites and around that little area, you will get hit on a random lost jury <laughs> but that's pretty much it for all the stuff that i have for today uh the cycles are once again family heirloom cycle six all lost jury cycle two coin cycle two arrowhead cycle one wildflower cycle one antique alcohol bottle cycle one all tarot card cycle five bird egg cycle one and fossil cycle six remember to check the description box below because just in case I mess up or you guys can't hear me or anything goes wrong, everything will be down there in the description box below, right below the video. The cycles for today, the uh, a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Cash App just in case you guys want to follow me and get Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier and or support the channel. Uh, 
Thank you guys for watching, looking, listening, like, and sharing, subscribing, commenting, and everything else you do for the channel. I do appreciate it so, so much. <laughs> and I try to say that each and every video. It's your baby, man. Hit, man. It, remember, if you don't, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all post notifications, so you guys can get each and every video that I do put out. Because I may just put out a random live stream, and lives get boring that's kind of why i haven't did a live in a while because it's just me playing the game so i mean if you do see me live stop in and say what's up or something i don't know um but it's your main man hit man once again with another video and i'm out